Can you guys give me a preview of what you guys would sound like in bed? Whoa, contestant number one, let's hear it. <laughs> I'm, li I, I'm listening, come on. She sounds like she's gonna be laughing, bro. Um, <laughs> it's either you guys want, you either want my boy Philly or not. Um, something. All right, so today we're gonna have a little blind date challenge for the homies. We gotta find some real love. On this <laughs> side, we got the single foods. Oh, oh yeah! On this side, we got the wingmen. Oh, yeah! Yes, sir. Well, yes, better wingmen than the best homies, you know? So okay. they know I'm the best, so it should be straight. The homies have been through some shit, so we're trying to get them right out here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we got them covered, we got them covered. Yeah, was, today, the wingmans are pretty much gonna be helping out the, the single foods, because we know them the best. And at the end of the day, whoever is the, their chosen one, they get a gift. Yes, sir. Uh, a okay. gift from each one of us, so hopefully they like a, a it. Good Goody bag, you know, some flowers. All us single fools have our own. Yeah, check out these lanes, though. Get, Go crazy. The bomb. Yeah. Mine says, get silly with Philly. Ooh. Ooh. Real nasty, you know the vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Quit lying, go with Brian. Yeah. This shit is going to be a blind date, so I hope the homies pick the right one. I don't know. I'm going to help you guys out, though. You know? <laughs> I'm going to be there to help you guys make sure you guys pick the right one. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I like gotcha. that, I like that, I like that. I like that. I like that. Oh, you're lurking. I like hey, I feel like I'm on a Josulis and Censura right here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Maury. Hey, but let's get this shit going. We out here. Right. Let, let, let. Hi, my name is Miranda. I am 23 years old. I am a full-time student and a gymnastics and cheer coach. What I look for in a relationship is just someone who is fun, um, someone who knows what they want, and um, someone I can grow with and just be better with. Hi, I'm Kim. I am 22 years old. Uh, I save lives because I make medical devices. What I look for in a relationship is someone that's funny because I like to laugh. Hi, my name is Jocelyn. I'm 26 years old. I work at a holistic pet food store. What I look for in a relationship is basically a guy who's really confident, who's secure with themselves, and someone who's not above. Hi everyone, my name is Tarnay. I'm 22 years old and I work at a law firm and I'm a student at UC Irvine. Um, and I'm really excited to have another shot at love. Hi, my name is Briella. I'm 28 years old and I'm a purchasing agent and go to Esthetician School and leave. What I look for in a relationship is someone I can trust, lots of loyalty, and someone who can take a joke because I talk shit all day. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to meet these folks. Hey, my name is Gabriella. I am 21 years old. I am a patient care coordinator. My type of relationship it's just someone I can vibe with, with, be goofy with. Hi, my name is Yavita. I'm 21 years old. I'm an esthetician. I also go to Valley College. My type of guy has like a dark body, patient, and has ambitions. Hi, my name is Lupita. I'm 22 years old. I'm currently a substitute teacher, and I also do medical assisting on the side. My type of relationship would have to be somebody friendly, um, adventurous, and I don't know, caring? <laughs> hey, what's up? My name's Ivy, I'm 25. I do a little bit of everything for work. Um, what I look for in a relationship is someone that's funny and someone that doesn't take things too seriously and just down for a good time. I'm Jasmine, I go by Jazzy Baby. I'm 24 years old, I make clothing. I can't wait to see um, what these foods bring to the table for a shot at love. Chocolates? <laughs> Give the gift of Cocoa Bomb with the pink steel battery. Make sure you guys do not sleep on Cocoa Bomb this Valentine's Day because it is a limited drop. Once it's gone, it's gone. And if it's gone and you do not cop, you're going to miss out and you're not going to get no booty. Aww. First time, you know, it's only right to start off with my boy Brian. <laughs> Got the man himself beat clean. <laughs> he enjoys the wingman. Today, we're here to find my love, I guess. Um, I've never been set up on a blind date like this, so it's kind of crazy. <laughs> and then I'm, this, I'm my boy's wingman. I, mm -hmm. I know him the best. He's been through some shit. We're both dads, so I'm kind of, you know, looking for some wifey material. So yeah, we'll, you know? We'll find out. We'll find out. Some wifey material, but some of us down to go to, to pregame before church type shit, you know? Oh, shit. Oh, so, we're about to find out tonight. Find out right now. I obviously got some emojis right here. Obviously, green flag, red flag, peach, a slow smirk. So starting off, we got contestant number one. What's your name? Uh, the baddest, uh, oh, Kim. Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> my name is Kim. Uh, <laughs> I'm number Ivy. Contestant number Lupita. three. I'm Lupita. Contestant number four. I'm Jocelyn. Contestant number five. I'm Briella. 
All right, let's get it going. Brian, let's hear it. So this right here, um, I'm sure everybody who watches these foods know me personally. I have a beautiful eight-month baby, you know what I'm saying? His name's Moon. Uh, Hi. He's a part of my life, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> sure. So I feel like if I'm looking for my loved one, this question has to, like, you know, determine everything, you know, pretty yeah, much. Huh? Down, How do you feel about this question? Mandatory of, um, for you girls, you guys would answer this question. Um, Correctly, or you guys might be out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get it started, right though. Yeah, the red flag might go up right now. All right, so we're going to go one by one. Uh, All right, contestant contest number one, go ahead and answer this one. The question is How do you feel about being a stepmom, and what qualities would make you a good stepmom? Hmm. Uh, okay, it. first of all, I'm not trying to be no stepmom. Um, <gasps> hold on, wait, wait, wait. I'm not trying to replace his mom. He already has a mom, you know? Aww. I'm trying to be there. I could be like the step, whatever. Uh, I'm open to learn because I don't have no kids. So, you know, I'm open all right, to. All right, all right. You know, Abby, she's honest. Honest. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it, she's on his But I'm trying to replace his mom. Don't be like, uh, yeah, no. don't do that. First thing I said was, you better answer this right. That one sounds kind of, you know? Yeah, you know, <laughs> that, that, that response to me was kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't ask you all that. <laughs> I just asked you if you were down to take that roll up, but okay, go ahead. Contest number two. All right, so personally, I love kids, and I could be anybody's stepmom. No, but not trying oh, to replace a mom. Whoa. No, 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 no. Let me say that. Let me come back. I'm not trying to take nobody's fucking <laughs> spot because a baby always has his mom, and then there's a step. I come in when I, she's not there. But, like, I got it, and, like, I love kids. I, do I don't know. know. It, it sounds like you're ready, honestly. I kids. <laughs> I cook. I can take care. I'm a babysitter. I work through kindergartners. Like, I got this. Oh, for real? Oh, she got that oh, shit okay. for sure. So, what you think, Brian? Off of that response, you know, I can appreciate that she works, you know, in <laughs> kindergarten, you know? I like their answer, but again, mentioning the mom. I'm not asking about none of that. We, we obviously know that my son got a mom. That's so one thing I yeah. think about you girls right now that need to, uh, you guys need to know, don't even mention the mom. Literally. Yeah. Because it's already respected, because me, I'm I'm a very respectful man. I know my son got a mom. But yeah, y'all just fuck it up. Oh, no, 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 no. Shit, for me, I'm already ready. The car seat's in the back seat. <laughs> Damn, Damn. She, said she, she said she. Hey, she not, said not I thought you brought Moon. <laughs> she said I thought. She said I thought you brought Moon to there. She was ready to go. <laughs> I'm actually a substitute teacher, so I work with kids all the time. So you already know. The okay. Backseat's so ready know. for any activity. Though. Oh shit! Yeah. Damn. I like that. She outside. All activity. Hey, she for sure has a Nissan Altima for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that response for this to me was golden. Uh, I good. love what she said. She didn't get too personal about like you know the whole situation oh, all right and i like that she she said she was a substitute teacher right yeah. yeah yeah that's dope so i definitely don't want kids but it's a plus for me when a guy has kids because that means i can be a mom without having to have kids if you mm. feel me okay. so i'm definitely open to it i do love kids um but yeah I, i'm not having any of my own so it's a plus if you have kids like i'm down i mean i feel like i feel like eventually moon when you a little brother or sister you know what i'm saying you know? eventually mm. so it's a little it's if a little it's green, the right bro. man for yeah. sure like i'll have your kids but I guess right now I'm just like if you have a kid cool like I'm down it's not gonna stop me from dating you for sure um, but it's a plus because like I said right now I don't have kids maybe you can change my mind though like you never know you never know she said she gotta see what you're all about Brian personally I've been a stepmom before already so she experienced almost. yeah I feel like I'm a little more experienced in that but yeah like Brian said it's not about um, trying to be their mom, right? Because yeah. as a mother myself, mm -hmm. I know that nobody could take my place, but I appreciate a good woman who can step up while I am not there because a Damn. child is living Damn. in a separate, two excited. different households, you know? <laughs> so I feel like I've been a stepmom and I know I've been a great one. I'm a mom too, so I have no problem taking on that role. ASAP Brian go crazy. <laughs> Damn, okay, that was a really good response. Yeah. I appreciate that. All right, so we're done with the first round of questions. Brian, what you thinking, bro? What are you gonna eliminate? Every girl's in um, the first round response was cool besides one and two. No way. I feel like, I feel like um, you know, I appreciate the fact that, you know, they wanna make it clear that they're not gonna be his mom, but, which is obvious, you know? Yeah. But it's like, you know, one, what type of person do they think I am, you know? Because mm -hmm. they think that, you know, I'm assuming that. That's one. Yeah. And then two, it's like, you know, like, 
like they came off a little feisty, so it gives a little toxic sign. Came you know? They came out a little hostile. They were hostile, yeah. Hostile, <laughs> don't and, care. And I don't need no more hostility in my life. I think number one has to go. Oh, oh hey. All right, then. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be dick. Hey, how you feeling over here, though, number one? Oh, my God. You're so cute. Okay. Can we shotgun before? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. You want me to shotgun or you going to shotgun it? Both of us. Okay. Nice how to meet you, by the way. Kim. Kim? Me too. You're 22? Yeah. That's why you're not ready to be a mom. That's why. No. No, it's not even that. It's just we appreciate your response, though, but yeah, I don't I'm sorry. Be hostile. It's just, yeah. I've already had girls be like a little mm, toxic. Okay, toxic. we appreciate that, though. Hey, let me get a key. Are you toxic, though? What's your sign? No. Oh, what What's your sign before anything? I already know you're toxic. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's getting a shotgun in with the homegirl. Cheers. Wait, wait, wait. You're not gonna help. Oh, yeah. oh, my bad. Here, this is yours, then. Go ahead, go ahead. You already kicked her out, so my as well. It's open that shit. Am I gonna have to respect that? I got you, Pri. Yeah, wait for me, wait for me. Let's get it going. That's another right. red flag. I finished before her. <laughs> Good throw. I definitely think that she was a little too like hostile, you know what I'm saying? She popped out with that boom. She was like, like no. yeah. I started flinching her, I was like, whoa. So yeah, let's, let's move on to the next round. Uh, my boy doesn't need none of that in his life. Not yet. All right, so you guys seen the first round. Uh, it was unfortunate. She was really pretty. I like tattoos. But my boy Angel said, it's not about looks anymore. I'm getting older, so I got to go for personality and quality. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, Stop. so the next question is, if we role play, what costumes are you choosing? Are you I, mean, I'm, I mean, there's plenty, right? Yeah. There bro. really is plenty, but I like the old school, like the teacher and the schoolgirl type of shit. Oh. If you're gonna use one utensil or like little two as a teacher, like from the classroom, what would the you use on me? The fucking ruler. The ruler. <laughs> <laughs> she knew the right one. Okay, All right. okay. All right, that Content. was your response. All right, let's hear number two. Let's hear number two. No, this is number three. That number was number three. two. Let's hear number three. All right, number three, you ready? It would have to be a nurse and a doctor. Okay. <laughs> Just cause shit, those gloves might come in handy. Oh. <laughs> okay. She extra horny with that one. For uh, sure, hundred <laughs> percent. She outside, right? Um. So I definitely feel like there's endless possibilities for sure um, but I always like feeling good about myself so I feel like when you dress up as like Batman Robin something that's just like so bad but it's so good you just do it together like you just feel good because you're a superhero like that's just the kind of vibe you go for so that would be like something fun to do, for sure. Okay. So I never even thought about it a little bit, my boy. Yeah. So there, there's two issues with that one right there. <laughs> one, my boy Philly likes Batman and all that. So, <laughs> so oh, I feel no, like I feel like that'd be an issue because you might want to fuck my homie. <laughs> That, that'd be one. What then, did you say? And then two, um, I love DC, I like Marvel, so we're gonna have to pass on that one. I'm gonna say maybe like a delivery guy and a stay at home mom, you know, kind of single, waiting for someone to deliver something so to like, me. Like, a, like, a, like a, almost like a like, thinking outside the box without 100%. Like, where's my package type of vibe? You know? <laughs> nah, you know what that means? She might fuck the mailman. <laughs> 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 she might fuck them up, man. Hey, careful with the UPS oh, drivers out okay. there. Three, two, one, we both say a number. Yeah. And then we'll go from there. Oh, shit. So okay. there's, th there's two, three, four, four five. and five. five. Right. Okay, let's get it. Three, two, one, five. five. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> okay, okay. So unfortunately, I think we have to eliminate number five. Yeah. Say what's up to Brown real quick. Why is it not looking good? You chose the wrong one. Oh, it's pretty. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm just fucking bitch. Like we man. You know um, what? I tried my best because I was originally going to say the doctor and the nurse, but somebody uh, said it, so I had to think of like a plan nice B really quick. Yeah. Manny, what the fuck? And bro? I'm a mom. Who are you? You're going to give me like, <laughs> like, you know, cold words and shit. Let's get it started in round three. Oh, I'm fucking nervous, bro. This is crazy. All right, let's get this third round started. How are you feeling, right? Damn, I feel like I'm, you know, I'm folding a little bit. My wee man's a piece of shit right now. He's, uh, <laughs> that was doing hey, your dirty. You can't. You, we both guessed the same number at the same time. Hey, Loki, that was crazy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, her response was kind of whack, but, you know, at the same time, it's like, damn. All right, you know, for you can... girls that are listening, maybe your responses have to be a little more, you know, something that's going to appeal him, not you guys. So, uh, you guys want to be chosen? <laughs> All right, let's get it going. Round three. All right, Brian, let's hear it. If you were to cook me a home cook, homemade meal, because uh, I work a lot, I like to film all day. I like to go to work. I own a, I own a loft where I cut hair. Um, you know, I'm a businessman, so I'm always on the go. When I come home, since I'm a single father right now, sometimes there's never food. I got a Postmate. So what kind of homemade cooked meal would you make me? 
Let's start with number one. Mm. It's number two, but let's get it going. <laughs> number two. <laughs> okay, so the beautiful thing about it is that I love to cook. So oh. you already win right there. Mm. Honestly, I give my recipes on TikTok, and they're really oh. good on there, right? Okay. I've, I found how to make I fucking like tinga, mole, <laughs> fucking aguachiles, Ooh, fucking enchiladas, okay, tostadas, okay. sopes, anything. Sopes. I got you, baby. Yeah, yeah. she said it, whatever you need. No, That's right. It. Damn, wow. I, really I like good. the answer. All right, sir. Sure, I know you like steak, so I'm going to have to go a little bit Ooh. basic on that. So I'm gonna do a little steak, mashed yeah. potatoes, some oh, green beans on the boy. side. <laughs> but that's just gonna be the main course, you know? I'm the dessert. <laughs> I don't know. That was your response. That's your response. We need like the authentic, the, the authentic you know? Yeah, I could do Mexican. Any, Let's get it. Anything you want. Well, hold on, one question. What? How do you cook your steak? That's a really good question. I don't know. Some fucking. What is it called? Pimienta? I don't know how to say it in English. Oh, no, you're not. Sounding too good. Sounding you don't know how to cook. Pimienta. Pimienta. I know how to cook. I'm just a little drunk okay. right now. What the fuck? I don't think no, she knows no. how to cook. She, said, she said she doesn't know how to say it How do you say it? it? Um, I like easy, quick, delicious meals. So I like personally like pastas like with mm. seafood though like shrimp mm. pastas that are cheesy like filling meals that are quick but bomb like that's usually my go-to and i i know you'll love that Here. hey yeah, this will probably be making pastas like every day so yeah. all right Brian, how are you feeling based off the answers oh yeah. and okay i don't think that girl knows how to cook bro yeah you know so like she is like uh, contestant number one which one the one that said pimienta yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. She, she's hey. like, she's like, I'm gonna use what is that called, Timmy? She's gonna burn up the crib, for sure. <laughs> well, I think contestant number one, uh, I like to respond. She can make anything. I like that, you know? She's open yeah. to anything. We like an open mind, you know? And she's gonna be the fucking, uh, she said she's gonna be the dessert. The dessert? No, that was number two. Oh, for But she can cook, yeah. <laughs> so I think contestant number two is spot on with, my, with the answer because I love steak, so that means she does keep up with me. What? <laughs> Congress said, me and the fuck. <laughs> like what? Like, no, you know. She didn't know any of the ingredients. <laughs> but third one. That was your response. That was your response. So good yeah. pastas. Good I pastas. think my bar already knows who, who he thinks is out, so. No, let's say it on three. Grab it. One, two, three, two. Oh, yeah. The pasta one? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of up there, because I like pasta. do pasta every day. <laughs> I like pasta. <laughs> and I love to cook, so like you can't bullshit me and tell me you know how to cook. You don't. You know? Pimenta, <laughs> food, cetera. <laughs> But um, <laughs> looks like no steaks for you, my boy. Let's bring it out. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I swear to you, my mom does use pimienta. <laughs> pimienta is what pepper? Yeah, yes, it's pepper and salt. You pepper and salt. You would have said pepper. garlic. You say, yeah, garlic, <laughs> rosemary, <laughs> rosemary. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, it was nice meeting you, though. I appreciate <laughs> you coming out. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, no pimienta, no steak. <laughs> so so far, how you feel like we're doing? I don't know. I don't I think, know. I think you might have fucked up. <laughs> yeah. No cap. I think the first two eliminated were like pretty pretty. The third one, so they didn't know how to cook. <laughs> so, but we need some cookies. I mean, now, now we're kind of like, you know, it's kind of almost even not the score. Yeah, yeah because I mean, they were both down to be kind of stepmoms. So that's yeah, but I remember did. the first one was aggressive. So Ooh, we're not, yeah. that's how you like them. Okay. Okay. I mean, the last two are here for a reason. So. Yeah, yeah. So let's find out. How many times a week are you gonna let, are you gonna sit on it? Oh damn! <laughs> Basically, meaning how many times a week do we, we have sex if we were together? Fuck, I tell you to be bold, but not that bold. <laughs> damn. Literally, can I just say it's up to you? It could be seven if you want. Seven times a week. We we partner, so if we're not good, it's not gonna be seven. I like that answer. Yeah. Can I have a bitchy <laughs> But I said a week, and there's seven days of the week, so it's only one time a day. What? I don't know. Damn. I'm definitely on some big horny vibes all the time. Um, like, if you want literal numbers, I mean, we could, like, I feel like if you're in a relationship, you really fuck with someone, like, at least three times a day. At least is what I'm saying. Like, you're really into someone. So, I don't know. Do the, what's the math? 21 times a week, 30 times a week. Damn, right? Um, <laughs> I might be this one. <laughs> That's, I'm not surprised. It, it happens. It's okay. Hey, she it's said fine. you're not ready for her. So, what I got out of that is she's down for whatever, whenever. So, knowing my boy, Absolutely. I think he might go with the with the last one. <laughs> Man, look, I'm a little nervous for Brian because it's the last two, you know, so this is it right here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what she's gonna recommend for you, bro, honestly. But, All right, you know what? So we're gonna break it down. So I think the seven days a week um, sound a little lazy, you know? Maybe like one time a day. I don't know. What, what when you're in your honey stage, mostly when you're in your honeymoon stage, you want to be 
Yeah, yeah. I want to go crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're gonna want to be going crazy. So so be. Seven times a week sounds like a restriction, you know? And then maybe, maybe if you guys are good. The other one oh. said, no matter what. Oh, she did say that, huh? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so the second one, you guys already heard a response. Yeah. So I think we're gonna say it on three. Ready? Uh, three. That's number what? It's a one and two. Ready? Yeah, one All and right. two. Three, two, one, one. Uh, let's see if I, yeah, let's see if I regret this fucking decision. All right, ready? Let's bring out contestant number one. Uh, but come say hi to Brian. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. It was so nice to meet you. Aww, I'm so sorry. What's so, up, my boy? There's pretty much no more options. There's only one girl behind that curtain. I gotta, I gotta ask one more time. You know, one more question ahead, to get the vibe on her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. One last question, okay? Okay. I'll, I'll stop asking you questions. I'm so sorry. If you were to describe yourself as a candy, what candy would you be? A candy? Yeah, like what kind of candy would you be? I like feel it? like I definitely give like super decadent thick vibes. So like a Twix, like you bite into oh, it, it's shit. chocolate, it's delicious. And then you get into the caramel and that's like some juicy thickness in your mouth. Whoa. Like that's how I would describe <laughs> myself for sure. And then you get to the crunch and you get texture. Like yes, everything. Just, you ready to meet her, Brian, or what? Nah, 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 nah. That was too <laughs> good of a question. I gotta ask one more. For another one? Okay. So, like I said, I'm freaky. Would you eat my ass? What? Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, come outside. Oh, you're so cute. You nice to meet you, too. Damn, you eat it? That's good. <laughs> hey, she said oh she'll, oh she she she'll eat it. So, so nice to meet you, too. Wow. Nice to okay. too. Like, that's a, I'm sad that you're shocked that a woman would do that for you. That's Not too much girls do that. That's, Damn, that's a bare minimum. It's oh. <laughs> having so, you. Oh. You were officially my Valentine in this video. Oh. So I gave. I got you a plug plate. Thank you. What's your, what's your ethnicity, by the way? What city? No, like, where are you Mexican? Oh, I'm a, yeah, I don't look Mexican. Because a lot of people ask me. I am Mexican. You are Mexican? I'm Latina. Mm -hmm. Latina? 100% Mexican. Okay. Plus one, you know? <laughs> it's nice to you. Thank you so much. Brian found some love. Thank you for yes. That's okay, crazy. Okay, we'll now. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Brian, how are you feeling? Did we find the one or no? Personality-wise, yeah. I feel like she matched everything I was asking, you know? That's why she was last. That's why she was last. She made it to the end, and uh, she held it down, fool, you know? She seemed like, like a real one. one. She seemed like a good girl, you know what I'm saying? So, that's crazy. That's yeah. really crazy, but... You're just gonna have to give it a try after this, my boy. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get that day going on. Let's get it going. Get your ass in, my boy. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> see, if, oh, see if she's really, you know, trying to eat it or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, no cap. That's part of the test, because she probably got... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. What if she just said she was, but she ain't? I don't know. So now it just goes beyond this. Yeah. yeah. You ready or not? We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs>
Let's hear it, contestant number one. Contestant number um, one, let's go. I think I like, um, like, teacher and, like, student, you know? So, well, I, can't, I couldn't really hear you. I said teacher or student, baby. Oh, oh shit. shit. Teacher or student, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I got a bad Baby. Um, I'd probably do a maid or cop and robber theme. Damn. Yeah, some cups would be nice. How are you feeling about cops? Yeah. Damn. A maid or what? A maid or some getting some number three. Damn. Damn. Um, I'm getting arrested for sure. This is number three? I'm getting three three cups. This is number three? Yeah. I'm getting arrested. So, ooh, ooh, ooh shit. <laughs> Ah, that sounds a little excited over there. All right, let's hear the last one. I'm sorry, they took all the good ones. But if I'm going to be honest, I'm going to say a cop. Like, they, you can't go wrong with a cop. A cop? You're trying I'll, to get cuffed, too? I'll arrest you. I'll literally hold yeah, you I'll down. Up. I don't know. You know I, mean? I like the feds, but you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to hold it down. You heard that? Mm. Yeah, that was crazy. Maybe the last one. Oh, what? You're going to eliminate the last one? Bro, she just said she's gonna hold it. Now you're gonna eliminate it? She, she wants to be a cop. She's trying to dominate you, you sure? <laughs> Alright, fuck it. Right, let's bring so. her on number. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Come on by. I'm gonna get a little unreal as dude. Damn. Damn, she's mad. Like the yeah, I don't yeah. like the cops. That's sorry. crazy, really? real? James? Yeah. I mean, this nice is real. To meet you. Real. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. Embarrassing. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know. She's kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, though. It's okay, though. You got your next question ready? I think so. I think so. All right, let's get it going. All right, this, is, this one's crazy. This one's crazy, too. <laughs> uh, I have a high sex drive. Would you be able to keep up? Contestant number one. Keep up with what? What's your sex drive? In the bed. Yeah, what's your sex drive? Every day, going crazy. Every like day? day? Three times a day. Three times a day? Run it up. Maybe two times a day. Hmm. We could work with that. We could work with that? Yeah, two times. Two three times? Three times, I got a job, baby. So, so come on. Uh, yeah. I, I like that, man. She busy, she busy. Yeah. As long as you're able to keep up. Damn. You said what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> say it again, say it again. <laughs> as long as you're able to keep up. Damn, real? You, you got that or not? Yeah, I feel like the question for the men is, are you able to keep up? Because, yeah. like, you guys be tapping out, so I don't know. Like, we can keep up, though. Like, we be going around. So I don't know about y'all, dude. They said real's a two pump chump. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got that or not? Can you keep, can you keep up or no? I want, I want you to hear him again, bro, honestly. What? All three of them were good answers. But what are you thinking, bro? You gotta eliminate one. What they don't know is that Rio just got the uh, Royal, Royal Hunters. What they just oh, don't, he got the shit. subscription. <laughs> the blue juice. We're going crazy <laughs> all month. Maybe. Full pick one, fool. Number three. Mm. Fuck it. Let's bring her out. Come say hi to Rio. Oh, I'm sorry. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. What was the deal break, babe? We all said the same thing. I, I was like too aggressive with you. I was like, Nah, I just I don't know. I just didn't sound too confident with him. Mm. Feel me? <laughs> <laughs> he's honest. He's honest. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who that was, bro. But you gotta eliminate her. Damn. Next. I heard that one from the far right. I think I know who that one was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear this last question, real. Question number five. Are we leaving out of this together or not? Where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> Fuck. Nah. She said, she said not nah, real. She said no, yeah, I already knew it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I got Damn. stuff to do. Damn. It don't matter. She said she ain't got time for you, bro. <laughs> hey, I don't think none of these are the ones, bro. Since yeah, the answer was kind of the same, we're going to go ahead and let Rio choose another question. All Let's right. hear it. I got a good better one. I do got a lot of chest hair. Is that a deal breaker? <laughs> How are we feeling about the hair, contestant number one? Hair is just hair. Mm. She said bring it all, contestant number two. That like shit's kind of sexy, not going to lie. <laughs> she said she's with it. All right. Oh, shit, it's Real. Sexy. It's Did that lie. help you or no? For sure. <laughs> bro, low key, number one came at me a little rude, but she was kind of a little feisty over there. She said, nah, but number two said it's sexy. I think it was number two. I think I'd rather go with number two. Yeah, so you're going to eliminate number one? She actually, mm. What are you picking, bro? You already said it. Contestant number one. You're being kind of You know, everyone wasn't fucking with you. I mean, you cool as a homie. Yeah, that's right. You got that's it. That's why right you got eliminated. You got the bag. Thank you. She's solid, though. She seems like a cool homegirl. This one really wasn't fucking with it. I was it. <laughs> Let's bring out your dream girl right here. Oh, yeah. Let's get it going.
Bring her out, bring her out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I see me too. The other outside. Hey, crazy. But, uh, we'll go crazy, look. We got you with the little real nasty shit, hey, you feel me? So sweet. All right, so real wasn't fucking with the feisty ones. I mean, I don't blame him, you know? Like, none of that toxic shit around here. So, mm -hmm. I'm with you on that one, bro. We didn't, we, didn't right. find, we didn't find any love for me today, unfortunately. But it was pretty fun, you know? Get out here and try to find some love. But at least we tried, bro. At least you tried, you know? A for effort. They were a little too, a a little too, they were a little too feisty for, for real. <laughs> he like, nice. Back to square one, you know? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to come back. All right, let's get this round three started. We got Dom and Angel as a wingman. Hey. Wingman once again. You ready, Dom? Let's get I'm ready. Man. I can get you some love out here. Hey, hopefully. All right, all right, all right. Question number one. All right, I'd like to dress up. I feel like I have some sort of style. Describe your fit right now. Contestant number one. Oh, I'm wearing a black top that shows hella cleavage. <laughs> um, they're called like 90s style jeans and my Chicago Lost and Founds. Contestant number two. I'm wearing a black lace top. Like leggings, like that flare out. Contestant number three. I'm wearing a brown crisscross top that shows cleavage. Um, I'm wearing black skinny jeans that are high-waisted with a rip at the knee and Nike Dunks. I'm wearing a tank top, red, it's like a silk material with some um, black ripped jeans and some matching ones. Last contestant. I'm wearing a brown leather top and black leather pants with Air Forces. All right, let's go see how Don's feeling over here. How are we looking over here? Mm -hmm. What you feeling? You, feel like? you gotta eliminate one, bro. All right, I think it was contestant number one with the 90s jeans. You wanna fuck with the 90s? No, 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 I don't think so. Let's bring her out though. Hey, nice shoes though. Thank you. <laughs> Dom likes shoes, so I can see why he compliments her on the shoes. Yeah. That was the only reason why I was kind of like, eh. I feel okay, it. okay. You ready with your second question? Yeah, I am. All right, let's walk on over. All right, this question is um, just in case I get into a little like alteration or altercation, right? So I like to fight. Um, if something happens and his girl jumps in, are you going to handle up? I mean, yeah, I mean, I got, I got your back, right? So if we roll in together, I got you. <laughs> Period. All right, contestant number two. Yes, I wanted to do professional boxing, so yeah, I got you. So she said she's gonna fight you after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. If you're my man, I got your back, so for sure. Yeah, we jump in a bitch. <laughs> yeah. So how are you feeling based off the responses? Um, a lot of them were good. There's some that like were kind of like hesitant, iffy. huh? Yeah, it's like, uh, just to say yeah, just to be like, you know. Ask him another yeah. little question, you know. Um, do you think you could eliminate one from those, or should you ask him another one? I want to ask the last one and the professional boxer, what she means by professional. She wanted to be a professional boxer, so has she fought before, or has she like been in competitions, or what's the case with that one? So have you ever got down? You got the hands or no? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never been in a fight, but I used to do like professional like, like training just for like um, exercise, so and I really liked experience. it. Not fighting someone now. Wait, 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 what about the last one? The, the last one, the last one. Have you ever been in a fight? No. Um, Which one are you gonna eliminate? I'm eliminating number five, just cause uh, the last one. At least yeah. she had, at least the first one had professional, you know. Yeah, she like she wanted to fight. Like, <laughs> I, I just, yeah, you know? At least she had professional. But the other one's just like nah. <laughs> All right, let's bring out contestant number five. We're feeling. You trying to catch him? Hey. Damn. Uh, you don't look like you would fight the no cat. <laughs> hey, he was looking out for you. I was looking out for you. Yeah, he was looking out for you. I don't want to catch you in a sticky situation. <laughs> so, as you know, these foods host a lot of club events. My shirt comes off. You okay with that? Or are we gonna be arguing? Are we gonna be arguing at the end of the night? How are we feeling, contestant number one? Well, I know you like to work out, so if you work for it, you show it off. So yeah, do what you gotta do. She's with it. Fuck it. No, I wouldn't have a problem with it. I would probably hype you up. Is it? I would hype you up. She said she's gonna be at the club with you, bro. She said you're not going by yourself. <laughs> Are you coming home to me? Oh, and like at the end of the night? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're my girl for sure. Oh, for sure. sure. It's all good then. If you're coming home to me, you know where home's at, then it should be fine. Peace. She said, go crazy out there. 
This is all to you, brother. I think uh, uh, off the bat, off the bat. <laughs> the last one was for sure a good response. All right. I mean, I like the first answer, too. And the first answer. So you already know what that means. So number two. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel about your choice. Thank you. Though. Um, I don't know. We had to see what the other two look like, you know. Yeah, we pretty much. I think you made the right decision. We just, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We just gotta play. And now we're not playing as smart as more just like, you know, vibing out the answers. Yeah, yeah going off the going off the responses. Just a heads up. This this is the last two, so whatever you pick right here, you can't go back, bro. <laughs> this next question is. Uh, can't go back. These are the ones right yeah. here. <laughs> I was kind of scared. All right. All right, you got your question ready? I got my question ready. All right, let's walk on over. <laughs> All right, on Valentine's Day, what's the fit looking like down to the end of the night? Yeah. yeah. He said underneath and all that. All right, contestant number one. Well, if we're going to a nice dinner, for sure something that hugs my body. Um, for sure, at the end of the night, I mean, a matching set always works, but I mean, it's going to come off anyway, so. <laughs> That's right. That's All right. Answer. That one. Contestant number two. Well, I base my face based off where we're going. So where are we going? Where are, you, where are we going? Like, yeah. first of all. Mastro's. Moves oh, okay, so somewhere yeah, fancy, okay. No matter where we went. I think Mastro's is just Valentine's. Yeah, Mastro's, I guess. We're going Mastro's. Mastro's, Mastro's. How are we looking? All right, so I never really had a Valentine's, so I'm going to go with the... I've always wanted to put on a red thong for Valentine's Day, so I'm going to do the red thong underneath the dress and some cute heels to go with it. No. It's some nice little accessories, you know, a little, little chain, Valentine. little necklace going on. Oh, true. Why not? How do you feel about that thong? Wow, um, why, have, why haven't you ever had a Valentine? Yeah, why haven't you had a Valentine? Well, let's go back over here. You might be toxic. <laughs> yeah. You're toxic. No, I'm not toxic, but I think the reason I never had a Valentine's was because when I did date, I was just, like, younger, and I don't know. I feel like guys nowadays don't really take Valentine's too serious. Like, they're not really, like, do you want to okay. be a Valentine's? Like, let's go somewhere. Like, okay. So, Don, what you going to pick? One or two, bro? What you going to eliminate? I'm eliminating number two just because she never had a Valentine's, you know, that's kind of like a Could have been her first, though. Yeah. My first was, like, in second grade. Oh, know. shit. Man, this has been outside. No <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>, cap. <mom. laughs> okay. always been outside. I used to make my mom go, like, buy little cards and shit. Oh, oh yeah. So my homie yeah. needs someone with experience. Yeah, he's I mean, ready for it all. Yeah, you can't show them all, you know. He wants someone with experience. And I like the answer for that one, number one. Number one, give a good answer. Like, all right, but... All right, let's bring out contestant number two. Okay. Contestant number two. <laughs> Shoot, I'm done for what you said. No, I said the ones. Oh, never mind. The ones. Appreciate <laughs> you. Thank you. You said, um, wait, why did he eliminate you again? Because of Valentine's. Yeah, I never had a Valentine's. Valentine. Oh, like, that's, that's right. right. It was the best one. Like, it wasn't um, good to me. How old are you? Yeah, true. 24. So you better have had a Valentine's by that. Take me out. Like, really? Right. Yeah. That's a red oh. flag, though. I mean, she's doing something That's dead. <laughs> Let's bring out the winner. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. Go crazy. Dom, how you feeling? Hey, how are you? Where are we going Where's after? Name? Miranda. Miranda, Dom. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. you. Well, you, you're my Valentine's. I'm so, your Valentine. You know, we get the Dom. Dom the bomb. Oh, enjoy, yeah. You enjoy the little half Thank brand. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with it, yeah. Oh, Thank right. you. Hey, where are you guys going on Valentine's, though? Seem pretty serious. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't take it to Mastro's because you already offered it to her, so. Oh, I mean, so now I gotta make a, yeah. a, a good decision. <laughs> That's my restaurant. You gotta figure some shit out, though. Go crazy. I'll figure it out. We'll <laughs> Dom, how are you feeling with your choice? Um, I'm probably not taking anybody out by the end of the night, to be honest. Um, I don't think I found the one here. Maybe on the next series we'll find the one, but they're all good contestants. Uh, I give all of them like a good thank you for coming and pulling up. Um, but yeah, I felt like it was cool. All right, so let's get this started. This is the last round. We got Philly and Pencil as a wingman. Let's oh, get yeah. it going, Mike. Let's get this going. Honest, I'm, I'm gonna jump right into it because I don't know what the fuck these two said, but <laughs> I'm gonna jump right into it. All right, so the first one is, on a scale of one to 10, how freaky are you are in the bed? All right, contestant number one. Um, like a solid 9.8. <laughs> All right, bet. Contestant number two. 11. <laughs> All right. Contestant number three. Freaky as you want me to be, baby. <laughs> oh. Say that again, I hear you. <laughs> I said as freaky as you want me to be. Say that again, I hear you. <laughs> freaky as you want me to be, daddy. <laughs> oh. I heard that one. All right. Contestant number four. That's what you want yeah, like one to ten. Say that one. I'll know. say ten. All right. Contestant number four said a ten. Contestant number five. 
50. I, I don't know about that 50, bro. That's, you know? that's a little too much for you, huh? I know you're crazy, but not that crazy. Yeah, I don't even think I would say I'm a 50, bro. Nah. Like a good, like 49.9. You're up there though, for sure. I, I think that first girl, I think that first girl that, that said 11 came in with some high energy and shit. Mm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Um, but the girl that came in with that with that 49, that 49 percent or 50 percent, that 51, huh? that scale is just. Mm. It's up there. She's she shooting it, high for sure. It, it's, a, it's a both a uh, red and green flag. Cause mm. It's like, damn, you might be toxic. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that shit might have me going crazy, you know? Yeah. All right, Felicia, do you got to eliminate one of the contestants? I think the last girl, cause she, she kind of came in with some low energy. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was her name again? Gabby. I'm gonna say that one. The one that said 50. Contestant number five, come on out. Oh, <laughs> hell no. Nah. Imagine? No, no, I'm just kidding. Thank you for coming, though. Yes, I thought you was Captain. 50? That's a little too high. I wouldn't even say I'm a 50. <laughs> no captain. Like I said, it was uh, both the red and green flag, so. It went both ways, huh? I for sure think she was Captain, bro. There's no way she's a 50 in bed, bro. Hi. So, can you guys give me a preview of what you guys would sound like in bed? Whoa. All right. That one's serious. Contestant me? number one, let's hear it. <laughs> I'm 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 she sounds like she's gonna be laughing, bro. Um, <laughs> it's either you guys want, either want my boy Billy. I feel like you're just gonna have to find out. <laughs> Man, she said, she said no preview. That ain't the one out there. <laughs> All right, contestant number two. Let me hear you go first. Hey, yeah, you guys are trying to win a date with me. I'm not trying to win a date with you. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. We're gonna date. <laughs> Go ahead, Phil. You, you can set it up. S yeah, Phil, you go crazy. Let's hear it, bro. Let them know how you were like. Let them know. Let them know. Yeah. I show them the strokes. What? Like when I'm out of, you know? Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, we hit that one. Green flag. No cap. Uh, yeah. I better hit that shit. Go crazy. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Wait, what the fuck was Wait, that? <laughs> this is the second one. Hey, what are we doing? Having sex with your parents? I know. What? Contestant number three. Uh. Now, nah, we're in that second one. Uh, I, hey, I didn't, hey, I didn't hear the what second one. one back? The second one, I'm gonna go again. <laughs> Contestant number four. <laughs> go crazy. Yes, daddy. Thank you, Philly. Ready for all that? I don't know, bro. Number one was the only one that didn't do it. Yeah, and then the right. second was, but you never, right but you back. never know. She could be the one that you know. It's you, it's better to just to find out. On some find out type yeah. of yeah. Yeah, she could be toxic at the same time. <laughs> I think the last one she kind of stand out. She kind of stood out because she said daddy. Nah, nah, nah. You know, so now the last one, you, you, nah, she cool for this round. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right here, we'll do rock, paper, scissors. You get one, I get two. All right. All right, let's go. Hey, uh, you got one, I got two. So if I win, it's one? Yeah. And then one is out, or? Yeah, one is out. All right. All right, yeah, here we go. Watch this shit. Hold on, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, oh shit. Paper, scissors, shoot. Damn. Hey, one, you got to go, bro. All right. Thank you for coming, though. So this one's a little scenario. So picture us that we're together, right? And you're out, and a guy comes up asking for your number. What's your response? Bitch, do you see that I have a boyfriend? Contestant number two. Honestly, I, that's happened before when I had a boyfriend. I didn't even respond, so I just wouldn't say anything. I just keep walking, ignore him. That's Cap. <laughs> Stop Cap. He's over. not believing you. Mm. Hey, you're looking good right now, so make sure to say some good shit. <laughs> he said I don't that think to throw me off for sure. I would say I wouldn't respond either, but if I had to, I would probably say my boyfriend would fuck you up or kill you, Girl. something along those lines, you know? She's toxic for sure. <laughs> I think we should keep going. No, no, one solid. One moving on to the next round. One solid. So it's either two right, or three. Philly? I don't know if I think. I think the third one is kind of like, yeah, she's with the business. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That might be a little bit too much for me, you know? <laughs> I think she'll take over the fight instead of you. Literally. I'll be fight the guy instead of you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like number three with that response gonna get me in trouble with that shit, you know? Yeah, no cap. Let me fight. It's kind of like, for no it's reason. Kinda like, it's kind of like, Damn, I thought it's number three was looking good for you, bro. She might have went too crazy. Yeah, yeah, type shit, type shit, type shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. No way. Yeah. All right. I feel like with number three's response, that shit gonna be, bring me some problems. So I was like, eh. Number three. Gotta go. All right. I lucky time number three was looking good, but I guess one. Oh, and that's why I said it, because this one was trying to throw me off with that shit. <laughs>
English word, really. We all not. <laughs> not your lucky day. <laughs> First, you got the baby daddy waiting outside for the sure. complex. That was right here outside the complex, huh? Waiting for her to come out. Yeah, yeah, and I also kept what he said. He was saying something like she was looking good, so I feel like he just said that to, to throw me off type shit. Well, you were saying that, oh, yeah, like what she said, so I was like, oh, maybe she's a good contender for this week. Nah, but you're like, you, you look good. Never mind, whatever. I you thought good? you just said that shit to just throw me off, bro. I was like, I'm good. This was right, favorite. Here we go, here we go. We got two left, Philly. How are you feeling? I mean, the contestants, mm -hmm. they were looking pretty good, you know, but. It's pretty strange. Uh -huh. I, I, I feel like we're down to the, the best two. Yeah? Sure, yeah. You feel like I you chose right? Hopefully, what the I fuck? I think they're meeting Philly standards right now. Yeah. Um, you know, they're they're raising the scale for them, mm. so. Now, let's see how this shit goes. Let's get it. Right. I hope yeah. Philly picks the right one. Let's get this last question going. Awesome. This is the make or break question right here. This one's bad. Hot. Here we go. In your opinion, why do you think you're single? I just feel like I don't settle for less. Mm. So. <laughs> That's a good answer. I feel like number one just be giving all these good answers for no reason, bro. I, I can relate. She out here touching the heart. <laughs> <laughs> I think because I've been choosing to be. What'd she say? She said what? I've been choosing to be. Mm. That she wants to be single. Yeah, she Want chooses to be single, to be single yeah. <laughs> That Jazzy name is. Oh, hey, hey Jazzy, that's a super oh, toxic girl. I don't know. <laughs> you know, she, I don't know. She, I don't she, know. Might be, she, she might live in the same city that we live from. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's not. We ain't having that one. Can't, we can't do that. All right, number two. I'm sorry, you know? Damn. All right, we got number two. Don't try to my name stupid. Damn. Well, yeah. <laughs> not the Jazzy. <laughs> I was looking right. Hi, how are you? <laughs> hey, hopefully, the drive wasn't too far, you know? Yeah. Hey, I'm looking excited. Ready? <laughs> well, hold on. All I have to say is from the start, She's been having like the best answers. That's she on some high energy. I've been eyeballing this one. That's right. right. All right, let's see. All right, let's bring out the winner. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going tonight? Where are you taking me? Where are you taking me? No, you gotta take me. No. You want a date with me? I'm the prize. Mm -hmm. Stop playing. Okay. All right, Philly. How are we feeling with the uh, with the chosen one? Was that the one? To be honest, uh, I'm gonna just stop you right there. Yeah. Like I, I, I'm not happy with your choice for No way. I'm not. Which one did you want for him? Uh -huh. Uh, I think the second to the last one. Uh, that's the one I said. The one in the red? he was excited about? Jazzy, yeah, for sure. The one in the red? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the second to the last Them Jazzies, man. This was excited. That sure. name threw me off, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, all the contestants were cool, you know? I appreciate everybody coming out, but... I was listening to my wingman today. That, Good thing I ain't yeah. taking nobody serious hey, like that, though. Hey, you guys in the... At the end of the day, they're full. Nobody deserves you, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, That's what I'm saying. You see? So we gotta hold it down, like after after the show and shit. Yeah. Uh, after today, we you know you gotta link up with them and then you know see see where it goes from there. But it, yeah. nah, they don't even deserve the pressure. Yeah. Yeah. They not applying pressure. Then yeah, they ain't ready for all this, bro. Trust. Hey, she did say that she wasn't gonna take you out. So That's what I'm saying, bro. She already gave me that. Hey, yeah. but, but she didn't know where where she was gonna take him out to eat from. So if I was a girl, I would have been like, all right, we going wherever the fuck. Yeah, she already got that low. I don't know about that one. Yeah, yeah she was snapping. Yeah, she's a snapping she turtle right there. Good talk to yeah, I don't know about that one, bro. Lucky we might have to come back for you too. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we might have, might have or might not found any love for these foods. But, uh, <laughs> hey, but we tried though, you know. So thanks to all the homegirls that pulled up for sure. Nah, for Appreciate sure. you. Yeah, appreciate Thank you guys for coming Thank out. You. I know you guys drove out from like super far away, but okay. if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't have made this. So shout out you guys for sure. Good looking. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, shout out to all the homegirls that came out because they came out from San Diego. They came out from everywhere, like pretty much everywhere. Some girls drove three hours. So shout out to you girls. Yeah, no cap. Crazy. Hey. Uh, Shout out all the primas, you feel me? Um, you know, they, they came in on some higher energy, on some higher energy shit. Uh, you know, they said they set the bar high for the homies, but uh, I think the homies at the end of the day, shit, they don't even deserve love. So. <laughs> and one more thing, let let let. let.